ओके महबूब स्टार्ट विद टेक्निकल स्नैप फॉर फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स एंड यू आर गोइंग फॉर डीआरडीओ इंटरव्यू राइट यस ओके महबूब टेल मी फ्लूड इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ टू थिंग्स लिक्विड एंड गैसेस यस सर हाउ डू यू कैलकुलेट द लॉसेस इन लिक्विड एंड लॉसेस इन गैसेस व्हेन दे आर इन फ्लो सो इन लिक्विड यू कैन क्लासिफाई देयर इज सो मेनी मेजर लॉस एंड माइनर लॉसेस सर major loss is due to the friction big friction friction happening between that flow uh, it is depend on length uh, by hfh hfh is equal to fl v square by 2 gd and there will be some co- contraction expansion happen because of uh, there is pipe joint uh, that's why there is minor losses will be happen sir there is major loss and minor there, there are two losses there are two types of losses major and minor losses sir. okay so i am not interested in minor losses i am only interested in major losses Tell me how to calculate major losses in liquid and gases. H F is equal to uh, F L V square by two J D. That is for uh, liquid, sir. And gases. What, what is this formula yeah. called? Uh, uh, friction loss, sir. No, no. This Hagen, formula must be having some name. Uh, Hagen Poiseuille, sir. That is from calculated from friction factor. Hagen Poiseuille. Hmm. So can I can I use this particular formula for gases also? Yes, sir. We can use it, but that will not some will not some. How you can use, sir? For gases also, we can use it. Sir, I don't know. Sir. Okay, so in Hagen Poiseuille equation, are you using some kind of friction factor? Yes, sir. Yes, is equal to sixty-four by Reynolds number. Sixty-four upon Reynolds number. Mm. Do you calculate Reynolds number for gases also? Yes, sir. And how do you calculate viscosity for gases? Kinematic viscosity. Dynamic viscosity upon density, sir. Yeah, but how do you calculate it for gases? It is calculated by density. You know that, sir. Density and dynamic viscosity of gases you know normally. That is property of that uh, gases. What is the reason of uh, energy loss in gases? Energy loss in gas. Viscosity. If we talk about viscosity mm-hmm. in gases, uh, it, depends it's on very neglig- it's very negligible as compared to liquid, sir. Because okay, let me friction. let me tell you now. I give you LPG cylinder. Okay, sir. It is full of gas LPG. Hmm. You measure the viscosity of the gas. Okay, sir. Now the half cylinder is consumed. Huh. Do you think viscosity is going to remain same or it is changing? Viscosity. It is. It is where pressure the volume is decreasing, sir. Ah, pre pressure volume remain constant. Pressure is decreasing, sir. There is no effect on viscosity normally in pre viscosity, sir. Pressure. You mean viscosity That's... will remain same? Yes, sir. But don't you think viscosity in gases depends on intermolecular collision? Oh yes. So don't you think as the pressure decreases, intermolecular collision also decreases? But normally we assume that sir, there is no effect of pressure on that acting. You know, but uh, intermolecular collision is the cause of pressure. Both are related. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. We ideally assume that uh, viscosity has very negligible effect on uh, pressure, negligible effect on viscosity. Sir. In gases also. Yes, sir. In liquid, it looks like okay, but what about in gases? Sir, I'm not able to recall it. Okay, what is the viscosity of ideal gas? Viscosity is uh, happening because of the uh, viscosity ideal gas zero, sir. We assume that ideal gas is zero viscosity. You sure about that? Yes, sir. How can you make some gas uh, ideal? There is we assume that there is no surface tension in that uh, gas. Uh, there is no viscosity. If this is ideal, there is a flow is happening, sir. There will be flow is happening. It will be rigid, sir. Means there will be no. Okay. Suppose I keep on accumulating a gas in uh, some particular space, and I keep decreasing the volume of the space. Pressure keeps on increasing. Volume keeps on decreasing. so gas will remain ideal or it will become real gas means increase decrease increasing pressure sir yeah 
he took ideal gas and then he started compressing it it will remains the ideal only if you assume thing a normally ideal gas only starting air if i compress air it will remain ideal only yes sir sure about that what are yes, the assumptions sir. of ideal gases there is no serpentination in that gas there is no viscosity present in that there is no velocity if there is flow is happening there is no re, no velocity gradient present okay and how do you make uh, ideal gas into van der waal equation van der waal equation that is, that is a formula of van der waal p is equal to a by v square is equal to v minus b into rt sir that is van der waal gas equation formula Uh, what difference do you find between ideal gas and real gas ideal gas you assume that compressibility factor will be uh, one sir but actually there is compressibility factor also present in real gases mm. that is what i'm saying if i start compressing the air don't you think it will become real gas yes sir compressibility factor will also change sir mm mm-hmm. compressibility factor also you have to consider when considering real gases mm. so when the gas becomes a real on compressing don't you think its viscosity also gets changed because ideal gas has zero viscosity as yes, the gas sir. becomes real what will be its viscosity viscosity and viscosity also present in that sir if the gas is real then yeah if i keep on compressing do you think viscosity will keep on increasing Yes, can there be any relation between viscosity of a gas and pressure of the gas so i don't require can there be any relation between the pressure of liquid and viscosity of the liquid yes sir that is normally we assume that there is no no effect of pressure on viscosity sir, in a liquid hmm. okay and what about temperature temperature increases at the temperature increases viscosity and it is effect on the it is effect on viscosity sir in liquid and gases also okay how does it change uh, visco temperature sir in liquid sir, it is decreases viscosity and uh, and gases density also de- decreases sir when increasing temperature and kinematic viscosity is in- increases okay so let me give you the feedback now uh, mahboob mahboob uh, could you get the flavor of drdo questions in the interview this is the kind of question they are going to ask you yes, and i must tell ke abhi aapko basics improve karna hai mahboob basics mein aap yes sir you are making lot of mistakes in the basics actually yes, viscosity in gases is because of intermolecular collision okay. aur kya hota hai jaise se pressure badhta hai intermolecular collision increases so as the pressure increases in the gases viscosity increases whereas as the temperature increases in the gases viscosity increases to so gas mein pressure aur temperature dono ke increase kar dene se us gas ka intermolecular collision badhta hai kisi bhi ideal gas ko real banana hai to usko compress kar do agar aap uske molecules ke beech ka volume kam kar doge और उसका प्रेशर बढ़ा दोगे तो गैस रियल बन जाएगी राइट दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू प्रोसीड फॉरवर्ड फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर कंसेप्ट यू नो फ्लूड लिक्विड एंड गैस का डार्सी इक्वेशन या जो आपकी uh, ये हजन इक्वेशन है दीज आर नॉट फॉर गैसेस दीज आर ओनली फॉर लिक्विड्स तो इसको पढ़ो कि इसके लिए कौन सा आप यूज करते हो इक्वेशन